buddy. My name is Sinead Coghill. I am a track work rider and racing administrator here at Golan Racing and I love Greylander. He's probably thinking, what's going on? I'm never out at this time of the morning. I hear he was pretty popular. Yeah, very popular. Um, there was a few fights over who was going to get to look after this handsome bloke, but we sorted it out in the end. <laughs> you were the lucky one. I know, how good. <laughs> so cute. They're usually very popular, the grey horses, and um, especially this guy, he's really good looking and he's actually great to do everything with and easy around the stables and stuff and um, we all really love him here. He definitely has that switch of an athlete. He gets out there and he just wants to get on with his job and do it. Um, he's learnt quickly that this fella, like he's really good in his action and stuff like that. Um, the guy who rides him, Stewie Hinks, absolutely adores him. Um, he gets out there and he just wants to get on with his job and do his work and that's kind of what you're always looking for in a young horse, you know. Mm. I think he likes you too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves a smooch. <laughs> He's a lovely grey horse, this bloke, but, and the greys always stand out. You always love a grey, don't you? You know, they stand out from the crowd, which is a, a, unusual for a fast net rock to have this colour, but he's, a, he's a beautiful horse. He's good, so handsome. He used to be kind of all this dark grey colour here, um, and he's really lightened off in, his, in the last probably about two or three months. He's really lightened off to this really light grey colour you see here. Probably so by the time he's about four, he'll probably be nearly white and then he'll be really beautiful. Hey buddy, you got too much in your mouth. <laughs> he's got so much grass in his mouth, he doesn't know how to chew it. I'm only the guy that gets to get up there and get a trophy here and there. Honestly, there's a big team behind the scenes here, as you see, Sinead's one of our one of our senior staff here as well, and there's there's many other staff getting around here this morning. They all do a good job. They all get up in the middle of the night to come and look after these beautiful horses, so they clearly love what they do. We've got some beautiful two-year-old races if he if he can get there. Yep, yep, and um, those are the kind of races that Tony will be looking at for him. He's um, shown us enough of ability that we think he's going to get there so it'll be a very exciting time for all the owners. Into the home straight, Greylander's in third but Bodor, sharp work there from Bodor wins well. Greylander on the outside arrives for second. That's what our carnival's all about, it's about bringing that, that two-year-old that's going to really train on to be a three-year-old and with his pedigree being a fast net rock and a young colt that he is, that sort of carnival really suits a horse like him. Yeah. So you know, our carnival for many many years has been a launching pad for that later maturing two-year-old into their three-year-old year and hopefully we can do that with this horse. Yeah, the, we're here from, you know, dawn till dusk really every day. Like there's always someone here. Um, they're never left, you know, to their own devices or anything like that. They're always like ridden and walked in the mornings, walked in the afternoons, you know. The staff are here nearly 24-7, so they've got the best of care. Good boy.